uh, Captain, Captain Poofers, first name Captain, last name Poofers, and we're going to be playing MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. So I thought it would be a nice little treat, a little bit different from what we're normally used to. Uh, so let's dig in. I've never played this game, by the way. Never. So this is going to be fun. It's going to be real fun. I played all the other uh, Battletech games when I was a wee lad, but uh, yeah, these, th this one I haven't played. I heard it's okay. I guess we'll play the tutorial. In 2108, humanity began colonizing the stars. No shit. Their reach would eventually span a vast region of space known as the Inner Sphere. During its golden age, under the governance of the Star League, the Inner Sphere experienced unprecedented peace, prosperity, and technological advancement. But with a great rise comes a great fall. Beset by greed and mistrust, humanity splintered. The Star League crumpled. Technological advancement slowed. The great houses, each vying for supremacy, turned on one another engaging in a series of conflicts known as the Succession Wars. Amidst this chaos, mercenaries became the proxy forces for the Great Houses. Numerous battlefields sprung up across the Inner Sphere, dominated by hulking war machines known as Battle Max. The year is now 3015, and these steel behemoths have become the tools of the mercenaries' trade. It's a lucrative time, yet one beset with perils of all kinds. Only the most skilled and brave among them will rise to become legend. So I see a catapult, and I see, what, a marauder? The PPP, the the PPP, the PPC beast that is a marauder off to the right there. I like that. I like that. Really do miss the marauder. Thought that was a clan uh, vehicle though. Ah, huh. basically the catapult is a timber wolf if it lost its arms. Just remember that, folks. Up oh, there we go. Deberry Prime. That doesn't sound so bad. Must have a lot of berries. Captain Mason, please report to the hangar for testing. The Centurion is waiting for you. Ah. Centurion suck. Give me an atlas, please. <laughs> there you are. Come on, everyone's waiting. Get to the Centurion at the far end of the hangar and we'll get started. I would if you guys would let me go. Jesus Christ. Kind of cool that you get to walk around. There we go. Fuck. I'm going to assume they're working on that. Fuck. I remember my first mech that I ever played with. It was, uh... I think Mech Warrior 2, I got to play in a Jenner. First mech I ever had. It sucked. But I remembered it. This thing, oh god. Centurions. Ah, I'm just not a fan right, of close range so shit. Fahad wants us to run the Centurion through its paces to see how it does. 
You it, spent months getting it operational again after we recovered it from that ruined factory on Ramen 2. Uh, I'll give you a rundown. Place was. Hopefully nothing explodes during the test, mate. I'm pretty confident you won't need to eject. No promises though, eh? Yeah. Ah, ha, ha. He's That's joking, funny. I think. Go on and power her up. <laughs> Press P to power up mech. Okay. Good. Fahad? Yeah, bring it up the systems now. Okay. Armor and structure display up. Weapon systems up. Tactical display up. Everything looks good to go. Keep in mind there's parts on that mech that are at least 200 years old. So ease it forward slowly and we'll see how it goes. And okay. Don't forget to hit the brake once you're clear of the hangar. Let's floor it. Look at her go, right? That's my girl. She's a beauty, isn't she? Certainly is. Okay, engage reverse throttle and navigate into the waypoint I've set up. Use your tactical display to see where you're going. Oh. Nice work. Now revert to your drone cam. My drone, my, my what cam? Let's go ahead and do a left-right rotation test. Turn left. Okay, now let's make sure the torso is working properly. Try looking around in all directions. I am. <laughs> Good. As you can see, the torso oh, yeah. rotates independently from the legs. Yeah, I know. Your direction of movement, therefore, may differ from the direction you're actually looking. If you check your tack screen, you can see your current leg orientation is represented by the dotted line, and your torso orientation is represented by the cone. Move bum, your torso bum, to the bum, left bum, or right, bum, 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 then try bum, bum, aligning your legs with the torso. Looking good. The mobility course is next. Show me how fast you can get through those turns while still hitting each of the waypoints. I'll hit your ma, how about that? Nice work. The Centurion was made to have a good balance between speed and firepower. All we have to do now is find out if the weapon systems work. Oi, what do you mean if the weapons work? You know how long I spent stripping each one of those components and putting them back together again? They'll bloody well work, mate. <laughs> you heard the man. Let's go shoot some stuff. Follow me. I can't wait. You know, Fuck yeah. Back when I was your age, I once slammed the hunchback I was piloting right into my instructor's javelin. Oh man. Was, was that an Orion? Pissed. That's a dragon. Come on, Demason. That's a tiny yeah. little raven. Go ahead, Rihanna. Thought you'd want to know that all repairs to the Leopard have been completed. We're now spaceworthy and ready to take on our next contract. How's the kid faring? Huh. He's a natural, just like his old man. You're my dad. Humility is still in short supply, as usual. Okay. Just don't break that mech. We need it in full working order. Oh, you're no fun. Never let me have any fun. Ah, uh, you know, walk in a straight line. Don't, you know, step on civilians. You know, don't kill anybody. Ah. Uh, don't maim people. No one lets me have any fun. Weapon systems are now online, gents. Be gentle, hey. Always, my friend. <laughs> yeah, right. That's a lot of bollocks, isn't it? <laughs> All right. I've mapped the auto cannon to weapon group one. You're free to fire whenever you're ready. Uh. 
<laughs> oh, fuck yeah, I can get used to this. Out of shells in the middle of a firefight, it could be your last one. Yeah, especially Lasers with the auto cannon. Group two. Fire them when ready. Okay. Okay, so that's one. So if I hit one, two, okay. All right, that's good enough. Those lasers generate significant heat. No shit. You can see the temperature readout next to your armor and structure display. All weapons generate heat when fired. You overheat your mech during a firefight, and it could trigger a shutdown, so keep that in mind. Now for the fun stuff. Long-range missiles are set to weapon group three. The target lock has been disabled for the moment, but never mind that. Just go ahead and fire at will. Okay. Oh, what should I hit? How about that building in the distance? Well, as you can see, LRMs don't track unless you have a target lock on something. Yep, they're as dumb as a post without it. Well, let's try targeting a drone first, and this time before you fire your LRMs. Target acquired. Oh. Okay. It makes a hell of a difference having that target lock, doesn't it? Next step is to test moving and firing at the same time. I've ah. set up a series of aerial targets for you. Move through the aerial combat course as quickly as you can and shoot the drones down. I'll meet up with you on the other side. Hold on. <laughs> ah, nice. I'm not, I'm not done having fun. Oh, that is cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Anyway, let's go to V. Okay, so this is the moving course, huh? Want me to fire and move at the same time, huh? Okay, well, I can do that. Target acquired. Okay, fine. Target destroyed. <laughs> Destroying stuff is fun. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, there you are. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Target ah. acquired. Target destroyed. There you go. Gotta go into some tight spaces here. That's what she said. Oh, this is pretty fun. I like this. I'd remap the buttons myself, have the lasers be my primary, but other than that, and of course I love the fact that autocan rounds, uh, that you've got more of them, what, it's an AC-10, okay. Bye bye. Go. Target acquired. Not anymore. It isn't. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so fun. Well, nice shooting. Now take up a position by the barricade. Okay. I projected three mechs, each with differing damage profiles. You should see them in the ravine below. Target the first one on your left. You can zoom in on the target for a more accurate shot if you need to. Okay, so if I do this, okay. Okay, 
That's gonna get some use. Targeting and telemetry seem to be working. Note the center torso on that first mech. It's reading heavily damaged. Destroying the CT will destroy the mech no matter its relative condition. Go ahead and destroy the center torso. Target acquired. Okay. Uh, go ahead and destroy the center torso. Okay. Target. See that second mech? Both legs are heavily damaged. With one leg destroyed, mechs become easy targets. Both legs? <laughs> it's over for them. Take out both legs. Ah. Oh. Hold on. There we go. I got this now. Target. Nicely done. The cockpit on that third mech is seriously damaged. It's a difficult shot to make, especially in the chaos of battle. But the fastest way to take out a mech is to eliminate the pilot. Go ahead and try shooting the cockpit. There you go. Now we're almost done. The battle simulation I've set up for you is the last hurdle. <laughs> Follow me. You're gonna go head to head with an urban mech. They're slow and poorly armored. Perfect yeah. for this particular test. Should be People a piece of love a pilot urban like mechs. I cannot stand them. They're like the meme of. No, seriously, they're like massive fucking R2 D2 units. Oh, weakest son of a bitches out there. Sure, they've got an AC, but I mean, anything has an AC. An auto cannon. Walking on boulders. I see him. Whoa, buddy. Come on. There you are. Let's do that again. Centurion seems fully fit and ready for battle. Let's head back. Hold on, hold on. Now we can go. to the base. We'll buy Fahad a few beers to say thanks. Yeah, of course we'll have to listen to him gripe about how rough we are on his battle mechs. <laughs> Small price to pay, I suppose, for having one of the best mechanics in the entire inner sphere. That was pretty fun.
3015, the Barry system. I'm at the rendezvous point, but our contact isn't here. You see anyone, son? The salvage crates at the last checkpoint were empty. Something's up if they're missing payments. This is Commander Mason of Major Campbell. Make a note. Looks like someone is gonna need a lesson in paying their bills on time. That's odd. What the hell? Knowledge. I have a visual. It's bloody wide, sir. We are evacuating. We need to take what we have and go. The fastest way is across the swamp. Captain, where are you going? It's possible they left the cash at the last checkpoint in the city. Let's get the money and run, Commander. This is reckless. We need to get back to base. They're distracted with the invasion. We'll be in and out before they know we're here. Let's hope it's not us they're after. <laughs> ah, come on, what's a little fun? A little mayhem. I don't like this, son. This is a ghost town. We're close. I can smell the sea bills. There's nothing here. Relax, we'll be out of here in no time. We're being tagged! Look out! Incoming airstrike! That is cool. Captain Mason. What's your status? I'm fine, Commander. Left arm is offline is all. That was close. Return to base now. I am not leaving you behind. We were set up, and you're in no shape to fight. Meet me at the extraction point with the Leopard. Go! Now, Captain! Damn it. On the move. Commander, an enemy dropship is approaching your position. I've got eyes on. Identified. Hunchback and King Crab. Ugh. Damn it. Rihanna, any idea what these guys want? I picked up some chatter about coordinates of some kind. That mean anything to you? Coordinates? No, Rihanna. Promise me you won't leave without Jake. Promise me. Commander, I promise. suck anyway. Yeah, they have jump jets, you moron. Who 
didn't see that coming. Show of hands, come on. It's like every Mech Warrior Mercenaries game ever. You don't acquire a mercenary band on your own. No, 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 no. Someone has to tragically die in the process to allow you to gain that command. Ah, uh, every time, every time. At least it wasn't one that you were emotionally attached to. I mean, your character was, but, I mean, the player wasn't. Commander, sorry to wake you, but our sitrep has changed. Head to the bridge as soon as possible. Do I get to walk around? A oh, little bonsai tree. What's in here? Okay, texturing could use a little bit of work. I'm just saying. Like the holograms. That's pretty. Ooh, I get to walk around. There's that stupid centurion that I cannot stand. What's this one? Oh, that's the damaged mech, huh? Whatever the fuck that is. Is it a shadow? I think that's a shadow cat. What else is out here? Can't. Where else can I go? That I'm not supposed to be wandering around aimlessly at. I could go down. Sup? Sup? I hate Centurions. I really hate Centurions. Not the best mech out there. Okay. Can I go over here? Ooh, plants. Sorry, gotta wander. Gotta wander. What? I can't go in here, huh? That's gonna be unlocked later. Okay. So, what is up? Okay, press E. Commando, good to see you up. We haven't really had a chance to speak since your father was killed. I'm not much for sentimentality, but I worked with your father for a long time. He was a good man. Actually, he was shit. his life to save ours. I don't know what's going to happen next, but whatever it is, I'd like to be part of it. I'd like to stay on as your ops commander. You're that fired. That is if you'll have me. Nah, you're, you're fired. Me? Your family, Rihanna, or as close as I have now. Absolutely fired. Sarge, I'm gonna need you. Yes, I suspect you will. About our Citrep, it's not great news. Those bastards that came after us are in the process of setting up a blockade of the system, which means we're going to be trapped here with a tightening noose around our necks unless we do something about it. Who are these guys? Another mercenary outfit by the looks of it. I don't know more than that at the moment. And these coordinates they were looking for? Not a clue. But we're going to find out. First things first, we need transport out of the system. That means a jump ship. I sent out a transmission right after the attack through the HPG. The message was for a longtime client of your father's and an old friend of mine. Name is Spears. He has powerful connections. I'm hoping he can help us out. Until I hear back from him, there's nothing we can do except lay low. In the meantime, Fahad wants to see you down in the hangar. The Centurion needs repairs and he wants to discuss them with you. I'll let you know when I hear back from Spears. Copy that. Okay, so let's go down here. Oh, that was the Centurion? Well, then what the hell is this? Is that a commando? Now, now I'm confused. Hey, mate. Figured you'd want an update on the Centurion. Took a bloody beating back there, so fair warning. It's gonna be a while before she's operational again. Means you're gonna have to get comfortable with the light mech over in Bay One for now. She's a good girl. 
Won't let you down, you treat her, right? I'll do my best. Yeah, heard that before. <laughs> Anyways, you know the drill. Access the repair terminal here. Once you're done, I'll get started on the work, eh? Okay? There are two ways to repair all damaged armor, structure, weapons, and equipment on a mech. The first is is with the repair mech button on the battle mech screen. Okay. The second is click loadout on the next screen, repair all button. Okay, well, what's the first one? Repair mech. And then, okay. Got it. Okay. Okay. Got it. Oh, it's a javelin. That's what it is. Conflict zone penalty. Uh, how much money do I have? Oh, here we go. Yay! So what the fuck does the javelin have? Uh, medium laser... What is yeah, six medium lasers? That's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah, it's got four in the to torso. Probably no. Ah, God, those things. Well, I did want lasers. Shows me my battle max. Oh, okay. So these two are empty, and these two bays are full. Got it. Got hey, it. Commander, I've received a transmission from Spears in response to my request for help. Take a listen. Rihanna, I received your message. I'm sorry to hear about Nikolai. He was a good man, and an even better pilot. He'll be. Jensen? Sort of miss. <laughs> I assume his son will be taking over the operation. Nikolai was always bragging about the boy's skills. Well, I hope he was right. I've begun working on a plan to get you safe passage out of the system. But it's going to take a little time. I expect you already know by now that whoever attacked you has set up a blockade to prevent your escape. It's a large system, though. So we can use that to our advantage. As soon as you receive this... I want you to proceed to the outermost planet in the system. It's a little more than a hunk of ice with a few leftover mining operations on it. There's an abandoned power station there. Now, I've got it on good authority that local raiders are using it as a secret cache for their ill-gotten goods. I know you can use supplies and materials for your repairs, and I expect you'll find what you need at that location. I've attached the exact coordinates to this message. Once I have a proper plan in place, I'll contact you again. For now... Be safe. All right. Time to suit up, Commander. I've already input the coordinates. All I need is for you to sign off and get us there. Understood. Since when has Deus Ex ever been a part of this game? Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Jensen from Deus Ex. Jeez, it like, sounds exactly like him, too. Jesus Christ. <laughs> good voice actor, though. Good voice actor. But seriously. <laughs> Okay. Well, let's look at the news. The remaining leadership of Merrick Rebellion has officially surrendered to Janos Merrick's forces following the death of their leader, Anton Merrick. Ah, oh, no. 
No, not Anton. I was attached to him in so many different ways. Not really. Free World League Parliament announced that the remaining conspirators for the rebellion will be tried for treason over the coming months on New Delios. Janos Merrick extended his appreciation to Colonel Jamie, Jamie Wolf, and oh god, really, the Wolf Dragoons. That takes me back. So this has got to be after the Fourth Succession War, right? Which is kind of sad because, you know, the Fourth Succession War was really, really fucking amazing. Uh, it, it's got to be in between the Fourth Succession War and probably sometime or when the, the clans came, right? That'd be... A, so the, the, that's this time period then, isn't it? Oh, wow. It's got the whole history, too. Okay. Oh, okay, so yeah, Anton Merrick declares war on Brother Janos. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry, I, I should be reading this later, but I, I just find this thing so darn interesting. Seriously. Yeah, very, very cool, very cool. So let's go to... Well, we can view transmissions. Okay. We could look at the timeline. Okay. So where do I go to sign off on my orders? <laughs> if not here. Okay, let's try that again. Uh huh. Meh. That's the battle max. That I can't do anything. Okay, now I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, so it says... It's showing me that I have to do something here. No tracked objective. Huh. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Smash and grab. There we go. Oh, how much sea bills will we get for that? Potential payout 2050. Difficulty 5. Mission type campaign. Oh, so we have some negotiation options here. We can go for more salvage. Um, damage coverage. So I got I got one negotiating point, right? Oh, so it'll cover up to 40k. Oh, so I could get like six salvage shares. Or I could go with uh, I think because I heard this game is money hungry I think I might go with the sea bill payout but the salvage shares or damage coverage certainly certainly are tempting you only be paid out for damage sustained in combat whereas we would cover it ourselves you know what I'm saying? So, hmm, hmm.
Well, since I'm in a, what, a javelin? I don't think we're going to need damage coverage, right? 40k? I don't, unless the freaking thing blows up by itself. Um, so it, it, it goes down to salvage or sea bill payout. And, um, sea bills are everything in this game. So I think for, for the start, I'm going to go with a sea bill payout. Although salvage shares do look tempting. Um, yeah, I just dumped 500k on repairing uh, the mech. So, yeah, maybe let's let's remake remake. Let's make up that that lost fund. God, I hate javelins. Well, okay. I really should spruce up my profile. Launching in one second. Here we go. Attention. Prepare for battle departure. Warning. Hangar doors opening. Stand clear. Reactor online. Oh, are we going to jump from the jump ship? Uh, the drop ship? Oh, we are! Ah! <laughs> okay. The abandoned power station is located on the other side of the ridge. You should be able to make your way through the pass undetected. That javelin you're piloting is lightly armed, Commander. But what it lacks in firepower and armor, it makes up in speed and mobility. I'm sure you wish the Centurion was repaired and ready to go. For this particular mission, though, the javelin is the mech best suited for the job. And hey... It has jump jets. They could come in handy. Good try, Rihanna, but I'd still rather have the Centurion. Well, can't blame a girl for trying. <laughs> oh, I can't just hold down the button. This is a bit more precise anyway. The power station being used by these raiders is derelict, Commander. But you can bet its perimeter defenses won't be. My oh, guess, joy. the raiders will have turrets stationed around the perimeter. If that's the case, it means they must have a generator close by. Find and destroy that generator before assaulting the plant, and you'll have a much easier time of it. Sounds good. Got it. Thanks. Target acquired. Got a vehicle incoming. Come on, get close. Oh my god. This thing was not made for sniping. Shit! Yeah, got you, you little fire monkey. Heads up, Commander. I'm detecting enemy units up ahead. No Could shit. Radio patrol. Copy.
There we go. Okay, what is that? A gun? That could be the the electrical station. Because it certainly isn't this thing, is it? Bunch of pipes. Hmm. I wish I had a map. <laughs> That'll be handy. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Yeah. Well, okay. I'm a little bit damaged. God, I hate these things. Hold on. Oh, that's the way we came. Okay. They didn't need that. Or any of that. <laughs> yeah, by the... Oh. Yeah, by the way, uh, engaging a mech that can step on you. Eh, not the brightest idea. There's a large chunk of ice blocking the path down to the generator. Use your jump jets to get over it. Oh good, a tutorial mission. Shoot, oh. There you go. Yeah, something's shooting at me. I just don't know what. Okay, let's get out of here. The turret should be disabled now. In your face! The hell is firing at me? Oh! Target acquired. There we go. Found you. Look what the fuck is shooting at me? Okay, where do I need to go? Oh, there we go. I love destroying things. Ah, uh, yes. Ooh, 
I like. One little, two little, three little pricks. I don't know. Okay, there's the geothermal power plant up ahead. There's a number of storage buildings in and around the plant itself. I suspect that's where they're storing their loot. Time to smash and grab, Commander. Once you locate the storage crate, more keep a pickup, then move on to the next building. From my initial scans of the site, I've marked where I think the crates could be located. Look there first. Let's take out these Run generators there. first. Target acquired. Target destroyed. There we go. All three generators. Four generators? Four generators. I can't count. Shut up. <laughs> have my full attention. Where are you? Like I said, you have my full attention. <laughs> my undivided, unbridled attention. You don't want that. <laughs> I'm in a mech, you're in a tank. Which do you think of the two things do you think is going to win in that combat scenario? If you find the acquisition, just walk up to it in order to pick it up. Oh, I'm going to school you. Nailed it! Dude took out. Oh. Man, I took out my torso. Fuckity fuck fuck. Need to locate the cache in the three areas. So it's got to be in here. Yep. Good work. Got it. Marks for pickup. Commander, it appears the derelict plant has a network of backup generators running. Destroy them if you can. I think I've. Uh, oh. You mean those? Target acquired. Target destroyed. Yeah, I, I kind of did that, but for the most part. Okay, here we go.
Target acquired. Target destroyed. Damn straight it is. Target destroyed. Good work, Commander. That's the last of their power generators. You hope. Jump jet fuel low. Jump jet fuel empty. Okay, let's slow it down a little bit. Slow our roll down. those things. Got him. Took out one of my lasers, so. Once you've found the targeted asset, move up to it, and we'll begin the recovery procedure. Yep. I know the drill. Okay, got it. Keep looking. Keep looking. Well, I got two of them. It's telling me, uh, go Oh, I see it. In your face. should do it. Go ahead and meet me at the exfiltration point. If you see anything worth blowing up on your way out, say a weapons depot or something, I won't object. Oh, you're no fun. <laughs> Understood. And here I was hoping you'd object. Okay, so how do I get out of here? Do I go back the way I came? You know, I don't have any jump jet fuel. Oop. Whoa, that wasn't wise. why I need to have a map. I wonder if I can get up from here. Yeah, I think I can. I think I can get up from here. There we go. Yep, we got a we got a bad guy. the hell it is though. Oh.
There you go. about your weapons depot. Got me distracted doing my favorite thing. There you go. Damn thing. Now where were we? Oh yeah, I was remodeling your base. Oh wow, that did a lot. That should teach them a lesson. Now get to the exfil point and I'll pick you up. Yeah, sorry about your base. Not really. JK. Ah, seriously, more of these guys? I have no fucks to give. Let's just try and get the hell out of here. <laughs> Thank you. Nice work, Commander. We were able to recover the materials we needed from that raider cache, and Fahad has already started the repairs to the Leopard and Centurion. You yeah, that's great. A very happy man. Though I doubt he'll admit it. Ah, screw it. Unfortunately, the fucking javelin took quite a bit of a beating. Ah, damage taken. Only a grand. But we got 6k from it. So that's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, we got 600k. Okay. So, let's hit continue here. Oh, completionist rewards. So we'll claim. Okay, and you know what? I think that's where we're going to end it for this episode of Poofers Plays Mac Warrior 5. Um... Hope you enjoyed this episode. It's something different, something unique. You know, something something different from Imperion, right? And it's something to make up for the lack of content for this week, too. So I hope you like it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care, everyone.